It represents the most intriguing human carrier ever discovered to date. Its body produces hundreds of unique strains on a daily basis. Most are harmless, a few are deadly. So what's it doing? It's like it's evolving at a rapid pace. It's war dialing at a genetic level. It's becoming something else. Got a disturbance. Cut! They'd come in just as happy as you please. Hell, they'd roll up the damn sleeves for you. What were you injecting them with? And, and when was this? That was the summer of mm, 1963. Damn it if I know what it was. All I know is I didn't want it injected into me.
It's 1964, right? The army built a town. It told people it to test a self-sufficient base in case of a nuclear attack. They filled the town with a cross-section of ethnicities, army families from all over. They told them it was progressive. They told them lots of things. And then something happened that was to test their faith. Zeus's memory problem might, might be an advantage we can use. Familiar, familiar people, people, objects, places. These seem to restore memories to Zeus. Zeus. This restoration is painful. It can hurt Zeus? During these moments, Zeus is vulnerable. vulnerable. The more we know about it, and the less it can discover, the better off we are. We can also get creative. We, we can, can lie. We told them we'd be introducing compounds into the town that simulated fallout, that we wanted to track it in the population. Harmless stuff. This was the cover story? One of them. It made it easy to take samples and run tests. No one asked questions. Everyone was happy to help.
Sir, I need your signature on these papers. McMullen, you can see I'm busy. Stop talking about Mercer like he's the answer to our damn problems. He's a runner. That's where you're wrong. No other runner in Blacklight's history has been male. The fact is, we don't know what he is. I know what he's not. That's enough. Thank <laughs> you. 